in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7 each of you should give now remember each of you why exemption each of you because God would like also to bless each of you each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give not reluctantly or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful giver now dunay upat kabutang diri how to give unto the Lord either first fruits tithes or offering or sowing this applies to every uh, form of giving this is what you are going to do first of all heartily it must be out of love it is a test of our love God will take your treasure because he is after your heart and so it must be given heartily kinasing kasing taos pusong pagbibigay and ikaduha not reluctantly dili alanganin kung alanganin ka igsuon murag dili pa level sa imong faith please don't do it why because the bible says whatever is not of faith is sin basig makasala lang hinuon ka no unya wa na hinuoy mga panalangin nga imong mandawat so if you are reluctant please don't do it and please don't also be condemned you know god sees your heart and god sees the level of your heart and your faith ang ika tulo not compulsory this is not you are not obliged we are not under the law it's not compulsory dili kini obligation dili kini pugsanay igsuon sa paghatag however number 4 but you have to give cheerfully kinahanglan malipayon ka maghatag and I believe there are so many people who are now ready to cheerfully give unto the Lord. Why? Because you are excited to honor God. Excited na takaay mo hatag ganto sa ginoo. So on. So this is it. This is how to give unto the Lord. And remember, no pressure, no compulsion. It's just a matter of our heart. Let it become a revelation. Give out of revelation, not out of compulsion.